couple of old Mario parties. On the Mario. I, They're uh, all good. I played one of them, I think. Maybe the one that's on the GameCube. How many are on the GameCube? Two? Um, mm -mm. Just mm -mm. one? Four? Uh, I think there's a couple, right? Isn't it like four or five? Up to seven is on the GameCube. Really? Up to seven, I, I believe. seven was on the DS and eight was on... The... I might be wrong about that. Maybe nine is on the DS? The DS version is... The DS version is possibly the most clutch thing in the world. I remember Mario Party 8 for Wii, because of the intro. Oh, Mario Party 8 for the Wii? Mario yeah. Party 8 for the Wii. Para tu. Mario Party 8 para esta. 1 through 3 were on the 64. 64. Then 4 through 7 were on the GameCube. Okay. Apparently there was also Mario Party E. Mario Party E? Mario Party E? Yeah, but I... For fucking what? For the entertainment system? For the Game Boy. For the Game but, Boy. Uh, but apparently this page hasn't even been created yet. I feel like that's just somebody fucking around. <laughs> Mario Party... Why would they choose E? <laughs> e for everyone? E for... Mario. That's so stupid. <laughs> that's literally the stupidest thing ever. Mario Party E. Mario Party. Or T. I just got yes. a fucking targeted ad for, like, uh, Hard Delta seltzers. 8 THC infused sparkling water. That's, this is a lot. It's like 25 Dude, milligrams. I, I, I don't think you understand. The amount of shit that people try to put THC in front of and then sell you. They put weed in everything now. THC chocolate, what? THC GameCube okay. controller, there was THC a... Xbox, T... That one bar I worked at, we had a CBD infused cocktail I never made, so... Dude, C there's nothing in CBD. Like, no, it's not. No. It's no. literally like the kind of make you a little sleepier. My uh, one friend at work was like, he was like, yeah, like, I don't want to, like, smoke cigarettes, but they look cool. So I would, like, smoke CBD cigarettes, and I laughed at him. CBD I was like, <laughs> CBD cigarettes? Really? You're going to smoke CBD cigarettes, you fucking lazy-ass <laughs> boomer. You are a you fucking... The only people, the only people that smoke... If you smoke CBD, you're a fucking loser. You're a nerd. There's, yeah, you're there, actually you are a actually a, a no life nerd. It's cooler. It's cooler CBD. to smoke the herbal cigarettes that they use on movie sets than it is to smoke CBD cigarettes. It's cooler to smoke cigarettes than to smoke <laughs> CBD cigarettes. And smoking cigarettes is that's no, not really cool. It's not really cool. It's cool in a twisted, disgusting, mm -hmm. I like like. It's cool in like uh, suicidal. I like oh, want to get it's cancer. Cool, way. It's cool in like an indie way. Yeah, it's and like it's, a Mac DeMarco. It's if cool you in like a, him cool. I, I don't even care, dude. Yeah, I don't even care, dude. I literally, I literally don't even, I literally don't even care. Mac DeMarco is some cool. Mac, okay, <laughs> Mac DeMarco is not a good example of cool. No, no, no. Mac DeMarco is a kind of celebrity where I'm like, oh, I like what he does. It's but at cool. the same time, I would never hang out with him. It's, it's cool, cool in the in Kurt the, Cobain way. Yeah, it's cool in the Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain skate park. Yeah, but actual people that skate. Yeah, like. Uh, you know, not like fake yeah. skaters. Yeah, it's cool in its own way. Yeah, we don't like posers here. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah. Sorry if you pose. We're actually we don't fully actually, against posers. We actually we we, get, we we skateboard every day. We deadlift every day. We eat a lot of protein. I we like I, playing video games, I I but we also today. only play indie games. We are. I should have gone in the morning, but I was cooking. I I would have been there this morning if you were there. Oh really? I was also there. What time? Seven thirty to like nine. God, what time do you go to bed at? Like 11. I go to bed at like 2 in the morning. I, I do sometimes. Then I still get up at 7.30 to punish myself. <laughs> and then I take a nappy poo in the middle of the day. God bless naps. So Dude. is this the timeline where Link like died? Um, this is, one where he, that, this is the timeline where he's a cartoon, I believe. Oh, really? This is... <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know anything about Ah, this. yes. The Link cartoon <laughs> The timeline. cartoon timeline. Yeah. He but fights no, that, Mickey Mouse. There's a part... combat. <laughs> Dude... I really wish they, like, you know how when Goofy dies in Kingdom Hearts, he just gets slammed in the head with a big rock? <laughs> he dies? He dies in, like, Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I never got he to He gets part. beaten with a rock that comes out of the sky. <laughs> like, it just a cutscene ends, and he just gets slammed with a rock, and then the Mickey rock. goes, No! Goofy died. Goofy died. Goofy was fucking brained with a rock! <laughs> Goofy's red splatter on the underside of his boulder! Goofy is red goo! <laughs> <laughs> and he went, Gorge? I don't know why, but that just reminded me of the uh, Goofy the, um, box. Because if it's, no, no, no. Oh. no, no, the the dream I was telling you about the other day, the oh. poop dog one. Oh yeah, that oh. does remind me of the <laughs> what's it called, Pluto. Yeah, Pluto's oh. Pluto. Imagine like Pluto made out of brown orbs. 
<laughs> That's such a fun thing to like put together. But he head. had like a, a like a thin like conical orb snout. So it's like I, no, no, no. a I, big I orb, exact, middle orb, I know small exactly orb, what you're going. For and then here. a little black orb as the nose, and it had two big <laughs> eyes, and it shot a little thin stream of poo at me, and then it fell off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then in my dream, like in my first person view, the little Xbox 360 achievement thing popped up. I got 25 gamer score for killing the poop dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said. Kill the poop dog was the achievement that. name. I love that. Like he's having a seizure on screen right now, but he's I don't sleepy. care. I'm thinking about the poop dog. I don't think you can even roll. They for they forgot to build the rest of the ladder. No, that's for that's a tactical thing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so like that you can't slide down. And, yeah, oh, I see. Yeah, it's like ladder society stuff. <laughs> you fucking killed him. Oh, he, he can, can swim. swim. He's Link from Linkara, top of the fourth yeah. wall. Well, he can only swim in like some games. Well, he can't swim in all games. All I know I is roll. that all I know is that oh, Nico from GTA 4 can't swim and he dies. Wait, maybe that's not true. Can he swim? I think he can swim. I think you just lied to us. I think I think I might be wrong about that. Are you trying to get Pokemon? I was about to say I was gonna make the Pokemon. Did you see the Did I... you see the Markiplier? Uh... Oh, Smasher Pass <laughs> yeah. all 896 Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that was a I real video. I didn't watch the whole thing, but yes, it's a real video. It's a I, real video. I, I had to look it up to see if it was real, and the would, answer is yes. He would smash a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, there's a good amount of Pokemon. I think it's like fifty some odd that he would end up smashing. And some of them are, are uh, not humanoid. Not very. Smashable, One of them is a I gotta fish say. with big lips. And I wholeheartedly agree. He's got with those him. DSLs. You can't blame him for that. You gotta get that fucking. Now here's rookie. another Pokemon I'd smash. Yeah, okay. POV bussy. Although, isn't he, like, fucking, like... He's 18. <laughs> oh, he is. In my heart. I don't know if that's true. No, he's 18. Yeah, uh, no. He's, like... Does, I don't think... I don't know. I think counts. you're, I think you're like, retconning the, his age. No, he's 18. <laughs> if you read the manga, he's 18. Okay. If you he's actually 18,000 years old. Yeah, he actually died and fell asleep for 100 years, but yeah. saved the child's body. So, technically, it's a bit of a weird... I'm gonna die out here, aren't I? I thought I'd find a cool secret. <laughs> and the secret is, like... The secret is drowning that, to death. The secret is that Link can die. I don't like that I can't jump yet. I can just You're looking crouch at this pig and roll. A lot. Well, I want to talk to him. I don't think you can talk to the pig. It's got a little arrow over his head. I think that means you can pig him up. I'm gonna kill you, Tim. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with <laughs> fucking rock. Christ. Wait a second. Hold on. A hey, respawn. Mike, you thought I was whoa, around. whoa. I've Infinite a... money glitch. Whoa, you're backing it up. I'm BLJing in there. Hold on. Now I have to K turn. Look at that. I'm gonna walk in there. She's gonna say, "How do you have two money?" Substitute gym teachers were the fucking best because they just didn't want it. They were like, "This is a free period." What is that guy doing? He's fucking. He's he's what getting he ready. Doing? He's throwing it back, and I I re I respect that. Link. Or, Genghis, did you know that these plants make a natural lubricant? Gen Genghis, I, I I ate a lot of these plants, man, and I'm feeling something I'm weird, feeling man. I'm feeling slick down like, there. I feel like, dude, like you like, I I've been know. dripping a slippery liquid out of there for hours now. Yeah, this is a diuretic, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Tim, I'm liking this plan of attack. Hit A on it. Hit B on it. Uh oh. I saw that lift. I think you crouch until you get up to it, okay. and then stand, and then immediately hit A. Every animal would fall for this. This is how I caught my uh, dog, though. But Mike, here, we were talking. We, we took we took a break between Smash and this to go on a walk, and we talked a little bit about just like Euclid characters right. that come into uh, our places of work at right, right, right. our respective. Uh, yeah, you were you were cooking kind of, establishments. You were mentioning. There were a few. We went over. We went over the train conductor who yeah, comes in my conductor. who comes into my workplace and just talks about trains and old bands and really wants me to listen to Grateful Dead and so on. Nothing to me though tops this one Euclid lady who I have to, who I used to have to go give deliveries to. Mm -hmm. She was old. She was sixty eight years old. I learned that from her. Mm -hmm. Because she told me what their name was Pamela. I okay. had to she would not. She lived about two blocks away, but she was banned from the restaurant because she walked in on the day it opened and said, "All of the food here is bad, and they poison it. And there is they, like the food. I got sick yesterday because I came in and ate this food <laughs> on opening day. Right, right, right. So my boss is like, "Oh my god, Pam, 
You didn't get. You, you could not have gotten sick yesterday, <laughs> and come in from our food, which and you couldn't have gotten. Yeah, it was a busy ass day, and she comes in. And she goes, like, we're, we're like they, they poisoned me with this food. I got sick. I started throwing up. Mm -hmm. I I got food poisoning. He was like, food poisoning lasts a week. You just sat down at a customer's table and took something off their plate while telling them that you got <laughs> sick from eating here. And she was like, well, I, you gotta, I mean, I'm going to shoot you. For, you like dementia? Me. She doesn't talk. Oh she doesn't. I just punched my microphone. She doesn't talk like a normal human. She walked up to my boss and went, well, I'm going to get you guys got me. <laughs> and, uh, and he was like, Pam, you're scaring people. You're banned from the restaurant. And then she lit a cigarette in front of him <laughs> oh, that's in awesome. the restaurant and was just smoking. She's like, you can't kick me out of a restaurant. You can't kick me out of a restaurant. You don't have to kick me out of a restaurant. <laughs> and my boss kicked her out, obviously. Right. And he just perfect parried you. Like, he is... That he was the perfect parrying. Guru game. fucking Matik. No, that was the fucking... Uh, what's it called? Daigo parry. But... So I had, so she started ordering four days a week from the restaurant. Uh, even though she's banned. Even though she's banned. This is cool. But she's like, whatever, I'll just order. She ordered the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. She ordered a... Oh, what's it called? A roast beef sandwich on rye bread with mm -hmm. side of french fries separate. She would order the side of french fries. She would say no fries with the sandwich and then order a side of fries. <laughs> what? And yeah, she drove me crazy. She'd get four Diet Cokes, two milkshakes, four two Diet cups Coke? of black coffee, one cheesecake, five chocolate chip cookies, four peanut butter cookies. To go? All to go. And I would have to drive it to her house two blocks away. Right. I knew that order by heart because she ordered it probably about a hundred times over the course of the year I worked there. <laughs> Once every three days. She'd order this monstrous... She'd order this crazy meal and then... Were I, the milkshakes the same flavor? They were all vanilla milkshakes until one day I was like, do you want to try... A, I just started influencing her decision making. <laughs> I was like, do you want a caramel milkshake? And then she only ever ordered a caramel milkshake from that point forwards. That is so... And Strange. she would she would always call and say, "Hello, is Jack there?" <laughs> because I was, was nice she to her. Would order the days you were there? Well, no, she would order when I wasn't there, but mm. she would just say, "Can Jack drive to kind of right?" She knew I lived right near her. She'd just say my name and mutter, and they'd, they'd, mm -hmm. I'd get calls from my coworkers and go, "Hey, Pam wants you to come pick up her food and deliver it to her." <laughs> she said she'll tip you twelve dollars. You're like, Whoa. shit. <laughs> and I was like, "She's my neighbor." <laughs> okay. <laughs> She literally lives down the road. We could walk to her house right now in about eight minutes. Go hang out with Pam. Yeah, she's a, she's Get Pam on the show. Pam is yeah. the late. Pam is the woman who worked at Pfizer. Oh, and oh, yeah, also yeah. worked in the White House. Right, 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 all right. Real deep state oh, operative. Yeah, I don't I know what the hell. Pfizer, I do love Pfizer. She is double boosted. She is. She's double nutsed up. Like <laughs> she the other day, or not the other day, the other month. I went to her house because every time I go to her house, I'll give you a preface here. First time I went to her house, I, I had been told, like, be warned, Pam is a little weird. Mm -hmm. So I showed up at her house, bunch of food, and this random weird order of food. And I, I get to the door, and I knock, and she she has one of those doors where it's like a double door, where there's like a sliding glass, or so there's like a a glass door and a, mm -hmm. and a regular door. Yeah. She opens the wooden door, and then opens the top half of the glass door, <laughs> and lean, like puts her crypt keeper hands on the side of the door, and leans over and goes, ah, I got my... <laughs> It's just gibberish. Yeah, and I go, uh, hi, is this uh, Pam? I'm here with your food order. And she goes, oh, it's going wonderful. I owe um, uh, you money, right? and I got to give you a chip. And then, and I was like, yeah, that's you know, basically what I'm looking for. And like, she, I think she was shocked that I wasn't thrown off by the way she speaks and acts and looks. Because she looked like a slug became a human, but it was also like severely dehydrated. She was very skinny and old, mm -hmm. but she looked like a raisin of a slug. It's interesting that she was skinny, considering... Yeah, I think it's because she only ever ordered that every two days and then would keep it in her fridge and eat it. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. She'd work and on it. It was insane. She was, you know how you can be like jaundice yellow? Yeah. I think she only drank the things she ordered. <laughs> so her liquid intake, all the water she got was from two Diet Cokes, a black coffee, and milkshakes. <laughs> and then whatever hydrogenated oils were in the, uh, the oh, yeah, chicken whatever. that yeah. we send her. Because every once in a while, she'd also get chicken fingers. Oh, okay. She's throwing, she was, switching it up a little. It was like every third order, she'd get chicken fingers as Add well. Add it in? Yeah. Add it in. Okay. She'd also get she'd chicken fingers. That's impressive. Uh, 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 chicken fingers, one extra chicken finger. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> she wanted a full order of chicken fingers plus one chicken <laughs> finger. But and if you just gave her the normal amount, she'd never know. One time, I forgot half her order at the store, and she didn't say a thing. <laughs>
And I went, oh, I call. I had to call her and be like, hey, Pam, I forgot one of the bags. Uh, <laughs> eventually, she started saying, my honey. <laughs> That's lovely. It was crazy because I would sit and talk to her on her porch for like 10 minutes. It was right. to the point that my boss was like, Jack, if you, come back. <laughs> need, you either need to start being faster when you deliver to Pam or you need to stop like taking her deliveries. So I started being a little faster with it. But there was a point in time when I would go to Pam's house. She'd say, hey, are you married? <laughs> Open the door with, hey, Jack, are you married? <laughs> no, Pam, you know I'm not married. <laughs> I, uh, well, you're a cute little boy. <laughs> oh, no. no. And she meant it in a nice way. And I'd be like, oh, thank you, Pam. You're very sweet. She's like, you want to get Then she'd go, you want to get married? <laughs> Immediately, you want to get married? Get Sorry, some, Get that shmoney. Well, the thing is, she's got a house, too, but she's got a car with no... She's just one car with no brake lines. That's you don't you don't need the car. No, I know, but I, I just mean like I she never leaves. Kids? She cannot leave the house. No, she has no kids. Okay, so she's gonna leave you her her Pfizer millions. She might she might already be doing that. <laughs> That's a she thing. Might be doing it anyway. <laughs> I think I might be the only person she talks to. Do you still talk to her? Yeah, I I, I keep up with her. I I will occasionally stop by lay like, a little stop by half goods. Oh yeah, of course I gotta I gotta <laughs> get my dick dusty every once in a while. <laughs> dusty and. You clean out the cavern. Yeah, no. The worst was one time I talked to her for a good 20 minutes because it was a really slow day. It was during COVID when, like, all right. we were getting was takeout orders once an hour. Yeah. And Pam was one of those hours. Right, all right. And so I, I pulled up to Pam's house. I was like, hey, Pam, how's it going? She was like, not much, but cute, uh, cutie. <laughs> and I was like, really not lonely. A, really not lonely. much <laughs> Not much is not an answer to how you doing. <laughs> and sweetie or cutie or whatever the fuck she called me, I was like, all right, I'll take that. <laughs> And she would just talk to me about it. She's like, you know, your hair is long. You got long, you got long hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And I'll okay. go, yeah. And she's like, did your mom, did your mom, you, you have a mother? Did she see your mother's hair? Did your mother see your hair? <laughs> yeah, Pam, my mom sees my hair every once in a while. She she likes when my she long. she looks at me. <laughs> my, mom, my mom likes my long hair. She goes, your mom thinks you're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> your mom thinks you're a girl with your long hair. Your mom thinks you're a girl. And I would go. No, I think my mom thinks I'm a boy, and she goes, "It's pretty hair. It's pretty long hair. You're a pretty boy. <laughs> Your hair's not even long. It's no. It used to be like oh, know, when it was down, long. Back, yeah, yeah. back when it was like yay long, right, down right, to right. about the bottom of my neck for all of our audio listeners and visual mm -hmm. viewers. Mm -hmm. All the people that can see us, everyone that can hear and see, but cannot mm -hmm. see me, um, but can see that twenty rupee. Oh yeah, but that's she go, You're we long. just had pam on screen yeah oh, well, that, well that's pam's like xl edition mm. that's that's like pam for right, like, right, like right. the fat pam lives plus that's plus. like that's fat lives matter pam fat lives matter and yeah pam's the the best pam moment that i ever had was on a day where she called in and she was like hi hey, you guys we never do deliveries on sundays because sundays are busy at a cafe but pam the i keep i keep like spitting into this mic the best Pam moment I think I ever had was because we never do deliveries on Sundays. Mm -hmm. She called. She said, "Hi, can I get a?" And she asked her, you know, her regular order. Right, and then, right. and then they were like, "No, Pam, we're not doing that." She was like, "Okay." And then she called back five minutes later from her cell phone and did mm -hmm. the exact same thing. And someone right. else was like, "No, Pam, we're not making that delivery." Then she calls a third time and says, "Hey, is Jack there?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack Jack's will, there. Jack will hook me up. And she, and she, and she goes, "Can you put Jack on the phone? Can Jack? Can you can you put Jack on the phone?" Manager's like, yeah, I'll put Jack on the phone. <laughs> Goes and gets me. Hey, Jack, someone's on the phone for you. <laughs> Somehow he doesn't realize it's Pam. Right, right. And I go and I get on the phone and say, hi, this is Jack speaking. How can I help you? This is Hapgood. She goes, oh, hello, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, Pam. What's going on? Hot stuff. I started just calling her nicknames like that. Hot mama. I said, hey, what's up, hot stuff? Hey, what's up, babe? So, babe was my big one. Babe and wife. Big pharma. Wife is How you big. doing, big? Hey, wifey. What's going on? And she goes, well, I'm going to my chicken fingers. Um. <laughs> placing her order. Yeah, she started immediately placing her order. I was like, Pam, are you coming in to pick this up? And she said, I don't know. Why don't I come on over a little bit? I got a nice guy. I got a nice house. Come on over a little bit. And I, she she made me laugh the way she talked to me. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, Pam. I'll come, I, can I? It's it's 1230 right now. You mind if I come over at like 330 in the afternoon when I get off shift to go? I'll drop your food off on the way home. She went, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can you pick, uh, stop at the store and get trash bags? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, Pam, your food's going to get cold if I stop at the store and get trash bags. <laughs> she said, that's okay. I don't know. Uh, tr uh, tr trash bags, uh, uh, cat food, lots of cat food. And, uh, wet cat food. I'm missing cat food. I'll pay you for the cat food. I'll pay you for the cat food. I'll pay you for the cat food. Cat food. <laughs> Pam, how much cat how much cat food do you need? Because if I'm going, I'll just go to Acme before I get home. What what kind of cat food do you need? 
<laughs> a big cat. <laughs> Big cat. That's all she said. Big cat. <laughs> and so I was like, fine. You know, bam. Okay. At 3.30. Yeah, I, I got her we'll friskies, like adult cat food. Mm -hmm. I go and I see her cat on the, like, I, you know, I go, I drive to Acme. I get the cat food. I get the plastic bags, whatever, whatever. I get to her house. That's hey, some Pam. some good Samaritan shit. Yeah, I drop all the shit off. I see the cat she was talking about. It is full of tumors, top to bottom. Oh, it is oh like this cat. Thing. This cat looks like a fucking punching bag after it gets used too much and it starts to keep lumps. And she was like, "My cat, he's not mine. He just comes to the house a lot." <laughs> what? And I was like, "What, Pam?" She's like, "He come on. I left my front door open for three days and he walked in my house." And I was like, "Oh, that's funny, Pam. That's cute. I really hope I didn't just buy this cat food for a random cat on your <laughs> front lives lawn. in your house." And she went, oh, yeah, he comes in the back door." And I went, okay, I'm glad he comes in the back door instead of the front door. <laughs> That's so yeah. good. And so then she, like, immediately opens a can and dumps it on the floor for the cat. <laughs> the floor. Well, yeah, it was on, like, a plate she had laying on the yeah, floor, yeah. but it didn't get all the way on the plate. We're not going to lie to you here. Uh, this is a truth podcast. And I'm trying to think of anything else Pam, that happened. Pam that. sounds pretty lovely. She is. I don't, she was, I don't have any. The she's only, sweet in the weird kind yeah, of yeah. sweet way. The only old people that I, that I interact with at my job are real fucking pieces of work. There's, I'm happy to hear about a piece of work, though. There, there's one lady that comes in, like, every few months um, and has nothing but complaints every single time. I mean, I of course, know, as I you do. I would complain every day if I saw yeah. the door, yeah. Yeah, you have to. I love, I love, it's always the old, old farts that um, always. Where's my, I got it. I got them. They com complain every single time they enter the establishment about something. Yeah, of course. Right? I mean, there's always something wrong. But then right? why do you keep going? Oh, that's, that's... I have a story to follow this up. <laughs> so there's this one lady that comes in. She complains every single time, but that's fine. We expect it. So you came in the other day, and we have this like special that's advertised, and it's like a it's like a, a cheesecake brownie swirl thingy. It's a drink? No, no, no. Oh. It's it's a it's like a it's like it is like a brownie. It's from the restaurant. Yeah, from yeah, from yeah. the from the you know the kitchen. Um, but it's got like hibiscus syrup on it. Hibiscus Ooh. is like a rose. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't you know, hibiscus. flower. Yeah, everybody knows. Fucking hibiscus is a flower, yeah. and they know what to expect when they see like hibiscus syrup, hibiscus powder, whatever. It means, right? it means we're going to raise the price without it's, really adding. Right, anything. right, right. With changing no flavors. Yeah. And she's like, she's like, what's that? What's that? What's that hibiscus brownie? And I'm like, oh, it's you know, it's like a brownie with like cheesecake swirl. And she's like, what's that hibiscus? What, I don't want to, what's hibiscus? And I'm like, it's like a, you know, like it's a floral, like you know, my coworker's like trying to explain it to her, and I'm like overhearing it, and I'm like. You know, he's like struggling. He's like, he's like, it's like a flower. It's like, you know, and she's like, she's like, I don't know what that, what does that taste like? I don't know what that tastes like. And, um, you know, it's slow. So I'm like trying to help him out. I'm like, Hey lady. It's like, Hey lady. Hey, lady. hey, hey, you piece of meat over there. I'm like, it tastes like a rose. <laughs> it's like, it's like a flower. It's floral. She's like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. You know she's like 68 years yeah, old. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So like Ancient how, age. how you, how you could go like almost seven years without ever tasting anything floral. To even like understand what like the concept of a floral flavor is is beyond me um and i was like it's it's a, like a flower it's floral you know you ever have like f like rose water before and she's like no i don't have rose water before and i'm like i'm like then the only thing i could even equate it to somewhat is like it's eating a leaf it's like it's like how grass smells but in your mouth uh, and she's like she's like i don't know about like that i don't like that and i'm like we can take it off if it's gonna help you out and she's like, it's fine, leave it on, leave it on, I'll take it, I'll take it. So she she, she gets the brownie and um, whatever, like it gets delivered to her. And, and I'm going on break while, um, or I'm coming back from break while she like gets out of the theater and she's walking it back. And I already know she's about to fucking return the the brownie. So I'm walking, I'm like, oh boy, like I rolled my eyes and walking like right behind her. She gets up and she's like, she's like, this is a, this, this is horrible. It's get got worse. Every single bite was worse than the last. And I was like. <laughs> fucking I love first of the all, modifier it's, phrases. It's delicious. First yeah, yeah, yeah. of all, it is scrum diddly umptious. It's a fucking cheesecake brownie. Yeah, it's a cheesecake brownie topped with ice cream. You can't taste the hibiscus. It's fucking delicious. Hibiscus is not a flavor. It's like hibiscus no, it is. is like is like the seltzer of flavors. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. going on. It does. It's not even a whisper of, of hibiscus. You can't even taste the hibiscus. It's yeah. just the hibiscus syrup is just simple syrup. Yeah. You cannot taste the hibiscus. Yeah. yeah. Um. And yeah, she just had a big fucking hoop, hoot and holler about it. But yeah, she does it every single time she comes in. She's a piece of work. But that's 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 really the worst old person I have to deal with.
Oh, there's one guy that gets like a popcorn with like extra butter, and he's like, he's like, make sure, make sure you get real lots of butter on it. And I'm like, <laughs> real I'm lots like, of butter. I'm like, I got you, I got you, Paul. And Is I put it like a liquid. I put so we're only allowed to put three modifiers for like the popcorn, right? The system just like yeah, butter, 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 extra butter, extra butter, extra butter. Item comment, tons of butter. And then after I send it through, I get my walk in. I'm like, guys, it's wrench. It's Paul. drench this in butter. I told him. I told him I was giving him heart attack of butter. We have a we have a cold Paul. <laughs> we have a cold Paul. We got, we got a Paulie out here, um, and it's never enough for him. Really? Is he okay? Is he one of the guys who will bring it back until it's no, no, like he no, no butter to popcorn ratio? He, is he was satisfied last time, and I saw it, and it was ah. it was leaking out the bottom. They put a napkin on the bottom to make sure it doesn't leak out. It was leaking out the bottom. Choose a fruit to just or vegetable to describe the shape of Paul. He is a celery stick. What? Yes, what? he's incredibly tall. He's got this big bushy beard, and he's lithe. No shit. Maybe maybe lithe is not quite though. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's built like this guy. He's built. He's built like. Old he's man built Wushu. like this guy, but he's got a better hairline and a thicker beard. But he's built just like he wears big heavy coats. All right. Gets his mega popcorn and a diet coke to balance it out. As he says. Ob obviously, that makes <laughs> right, it, it helps. That cuts the weight right back. <laughs> right. Off. Yeah. But actually, you probably are at a net negative yeah, after that. Yeah. He's he's a lovely fella. All right. And he tips me. Only old person that tips me. Oh, he's all. He's an old guy. I he's an old that. guy. None of the old people tip you ever. Yeah. No. Old people. I don't know what like, it is. Old people think you should work for ten percent. Yeah. They they think that you deserve that five fifty an hour and nothing more. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's. I, I didn't even get by. I got. I don't even know. If I can say this legally. I got like. Two